This is chord flow. It's really cool. You can set up different chords to cycle, and, and these lines represent the different parts of the chord and how they're moving over time. Let's check it out. So now I'll play with the lines and see what happens. First I'm doing the blue line, drawing a new curve. Okay. So awesome. Then I'll play with the yellow. What's happening down here is you have selected chords that it's cycling through. So what we could do is we could say edit and we can shift the position of these chords. So over here, we say we want the C chord to be down lower, move it in that position. The A flat augmented seventh, we can put that third. And then we can also go into one of the chords by hitting this little arrow here, over here. And now we can choose a different chord for that spot with this little very cute scroller. A diminished with a major seventh would be cool. And uh, what kind of duration do we want for that one? Let's make that one only last for two beats. So now we'll go back. You can watch it cycle through. And the cool part about this app is it also will do MIDI. So it's got some built-in sounds, a bunch of uh, parameters over here, right? Uh, we can say output and pick different things here, like this is a grand piano sound. Electric piano. Organ. Divisions. Steps, which is cool. So how much change over time, really? And then watch. It's awesome. I love it. Plus it's MIDI. 